but yeah so the book initially was going to be called from prison to properties yeah but i wanted to change it yeah? so it's probably going to be cool because i ain't got because it's just a, it's just a name for the book so it's nothing major or nothing like that so that can be changed i can be indecisive on that but um maybe conquering adversity because other people have written books called overcoming adversity there's like two or three other books at least called overcoming adversity by other authors um so this one i'll just try and be a bit more original and call it conquering adversity because there's many times in my book where i talk about overcoming uh, well conquering adversity so like for example i was talking about in taekwondo um, where my taekwondo instructor deliberately held me back and didn't allow me to progress in my taekwondo, like go from white, uh, go from yellow belt to green belt, from green belt to blue belt, from uh, blue belt to red belt, because I was being slack. I wasn't making any effort. I was getting lazy. It's getting complacent, and I had to work hard to prove myself to prove that I've, I'm not being lazy no more, and I'm not just doing it to pass this graded kind of thing. So that's kind of like overcoming adversity and being held back to the point where, obviously I don't want to spoil it, but I might as well, just, to the point, because I've got like, don't get to I've got like 26 chapters. This book's like 300 pages long, yeah? If it's going to be in an A5 book, so a small book, a book that's like the size of um, 48 Laws of Power, for example, yeah? it's going to have like 300 pages, yeah? There's like 26 chapters or 29 chapters i can't remember in yeah i had to remove chapters yeah so um yeah when i started taekwondo i was like either six or seven i can't remember and i started it and i progressed and i got a couple belts or whatever in it then i started getting slack to the point where i was being held back now there were people younger than me who started after me they started grading and they started catching up to me in it and the people then that i started at the same point as the same same time as who i was the same bill as me left me yeah and they progressed and i stayed behind right now i'm getting held back so much that the people then who started before me are now the same bill as me yeah it's embarrassing yeah so i had to overcome adversity that way yeah i had to overcome adversity i had to work hard because there's certain, like, uh, to the point where obviously I told my mom and that, because they're like, well, why aren't you graded in a year? And stuff like that. And obviously, parents being parents, yeah, oh, you're holding my child back or whatever, innit? Yeah, that condo instructor wasn't holding me back um, for any, like, it wasn't nothing to do with me personally, like, you know, because I'm black or whatever, innit? No, she was holding me back because she felt as if I was on working hard. And she taught me a lesson yeah don't get complacent yeah sometimes in life you need people to hold you back you know this is this is the thing right with black people yeah and somehow I always turn these things into black people yeah? you call me crazy yeah but it's slightly a good thing right that quote unquote black people have been held behind right and black people have it tough you know when you have it tough yeah it puts you in a position to want to work hard yeah, it's either going to make you or break you. Yeah. When you're given the easy route in life, yeah, those kids, yeah, who come from those rich families, yeah, all these celebrities' children, yeah, these children of celebrities, yeah, they will not level up that much because they don't have to. They're not put in a position where they need to work hard, yeah, and they need to overcome adversity. Yeah, whereas that person who comes from an average household, even if you're middle class, yeah, when, like these celebrity children, like they're quote unquote upper class, yeah, their parents have millions in the bank, right? They don't have to worry about nothing, yeah. But when you come from an average household or whatever, really, yeah, and things are tough, right? That's going to put you in a position where you need to work hard, yeah. Me personally, I probably wouldn't be as driven as I am now if. I came, if I was, I don't want to say I'm the son of any celebrity, but yeah, if I was the son of one of these rich celebrities, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't need to have that drive to become successful because 
without even lifting a finger, you're born, quote unquote, successful in terms of monetary, yeah, in terms of pound sterling or dollars in your bank. You don't, you don't need to work hard, yeah. You can literally not even go to school. You can literally sit on your ass and play video games all day, yeah, and you won't have nothing to worry about because of the background you come from. Those children will start off here and remain here. Me, I started off down here, yeah. Let me remove this thing so you can see my hand. I started off down here and I'm working my way up. Those children even start off here, but they remain here. Yeah, they start off here, they remain here. Yeah? We are not born on this earth to start off at any position and stay stuck. Yeah. So even if you start off down here, you need to progress. Even if you're up here, you need to find a way to get higher than that. Yeah. Like I say, women, women, right? They always want a man that's progressive. Yeah. They'd rather meet a guy who's down here, and over the years he's up here. Even if it went like this, yeah. Rather than meet a guy who's even above him, but he stays there. Yeah. People want to see improvement. Women want to see improvement. Yeah. So, black people, quote unquote, being held behind, right, is slightly a good thing. But only certain people will understand the message that I'm trying to say right now. Yeah? If you don't, don't, it's not a bad thing in it, yeah? but there's only certain people will actually understand when I say, you know what, it might even be a good thing that black people are being held behind because it's actually, it's actually helping us. Yeah? The fact that, quote unquote, if you're black, you know, your sentence, if, if you commit a crime, your sentence will be worse than a white person. That is fucking teaching us as black people to not commit crimes. That's putting us in the position as black people to say, you know what, maybe we shouldn't commit crimes. But the average idiot don't see that. The average idiot sees, oh, well, why can't this black person murder someone and, and, and get the same treatment as a white person? Instead of thinking to yourself, you know what, we don't want no black people in our community we don't want no one who looks like us committing those crimes. So you know what? Them motherfuckers that go out of their way to commit heinous crimes, fuck them. We don't care about them. That's how they should be thinking. Yeah? Why are you defending a fucking murderer? Why? Quote, unquote, the government being more harsh on black people and, 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 and giving us worse sentences is doing us a favour. It's teaching us stop committing crimes yeah obviously it's always going to be people who commit crimes yeah that it's the inevitable yeah but them being tougher on us yeah is actually helping us but the average mind can't see that i can see that yeah and hopefully one day everyone that's watching this year can can understand where where i'm coming from yeah the government quote unquote which i don't believe is true anyway but let's say they're tougher on black people yeah is helping us yeah long term that is helping us but the average person don't see that the average person just says oh discrimination oh we're black so no mm -mm. 